Welcome back to another episode of For Real, your go-to source for all things you would like to see firsthand, imagine experiencing, and actually going to live it and make memories for yourself. Be for real, see it for real. You know how most land animals of the wild are all about the survival of the fittest? Well, don't expect the wild sea animals that live in that gigantic body of water we call the sea to be any different. We all know it's in most animals' DNA to fight and defend themselves against other animals taking their food. But other times, it may be just to prove who's more dominant or alpha in the animal kingdom. From a shrimp versus a dragonfish to a crocodile versus a shark, today we are going to show you our top picks of the 12 times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent. Trust me, you won't want to miss number one, because it will be legendary probably as intense as a Mike Tyson versus Holyfield fight. So be sure to watch till the end. All right, let's get going. Number 12, shrimp versus dragonfish. It was high drama in the deep sea when one unfortunate dragonfish met his unlikely match, a Caridian shrimp. The fierce battle, which ended with a crustacean impaling and eating its foe while it was still alive. Researchers can be heard describing the horror as the shrimp picks at its prey, even ripping another fish from the belly of the dragonfish while it tries to wiggle away. The gruesome scene was captured on March 27th during the final dive of the Discovering the Deep, Exploring Remote Pacific Marine Protected Areas expedition. And it was like nothing the scientists had ever witnessed before. I've never seen a shrimp consume a fish like this before, picking and picking and the fish is still alive, one of the researchers said. Number 11, shark versus moray eel. A group of three whale tip reef sharks attack a giant moray eel and, in a brutal display of nature's unswerving mercilessness, tearing it to pieces. A shark versus eel scenario is not unheard of, but rarely is it captured so luridly. Ironically enough, only a year ago, we saw the exact opposite when a giant moray eel attacked a white tip reef shark and ate it whole. Like all natural things, balance is often restored in a fashion and vengeance of one species on another means that balance of power keeps an entire ecosystem running smoothly. Underwater, everyone is a potential enemy or dinner, including members of one own species. Fight between two elephant seals. The males start play fighting each other when they're wieners. The fights for serious dominance, however, don't start until the males reach puberty. Then, fighting between males will take place for territorial rights, mating rights, and higher standing in the male hierarchy. The fights seem to largely take place on shore or in the shallows where they can use their back flippers to help rear up their enormous bodies to intimidating heights. Despite this stiff competition amongst males, the fights usually only last a few minutes and end with one of the males backing off. Although blood may be drawn, they do not usually inflict lasting or serious damage on each other. Oh, what a sight to behold. When two huge adult male elephant seals have a difference of opinion, the ensuing scene looks like the clash of the titans. Number nine, octopus versus stonefish. In this video, you see a stonefish swimming along the ocean bottom. Immediately behind it, you see an octopus approaching. The octopus is taking a no-holds-barred approach. You see it suddenly speed up to catch the stonefish, and in a matter of seconds, envelops it in its arms. You might be asking yourself, what about the stonefish's poison? Well, our friend the octopus does not enter this sort of battle unarmed. The octopus is not the type of creature that brings a knife to a gunfight. In this case, the octopus matches the stonefish poison for poison. What happened the moment that octopus was able to wrap itself around the stonefish was that the suckers of the octopus, as well as the area of its mouth opening equipped with a beak, began to release its own toxin into the stonefish. This toxin paralyzed the stonefish quickly. Number eight, octopus versus pufferfish. Octopuses are amongst the most sophisticated predators in the animal kingdom. The same cannot be said about the humble pufferfish. But a recent encounter between the two suggests the creature may nonetheless be equally matched. Divers were exploring a coral reef off the coast of Frigate Island in the Seychelles when they came across a big blue octopus and a pufferfish 
locked in a stalemate. The octopus had the puffer in its grasp, was attempting to drag it into a crevice in the corral. The divers watched as the octopus spent several minutes trying to pull the fish into its hole, but the fish never budged. Number seven, tiger shark versus hammerhead shark. This is the amazing moment a group of fishermen recorded a massive tiger fish attacking and devouring a hammerhead shark. It appears that the hammerhead may have been caught on a line, giving the tiger shark a clear advantage. The video reveals what could be a 14 foot long tiger shark circling a smaller shark before biting it and ferociously tearing it apart. Hammerhead sharks are often prey for larger sharks like this. Number six, killer whales versus tiger shark. Off the coast of Costa Rica, we witnessed for the first time a tiger shark being hunted down by a group of orcas, AKA killer whales. The orca is one of the smartest and most mysterious of all oceanic creatures. And the tiger shark is one of the most feared. The killer whales prove true to their name. Though formidable, this fish stands no chance. This particular attack took place at Chatham Bay on Cocos Island, Costa Rica on September 8th. The shocking video shows three killer whales working as a team to force the panicked shark to the surface, tiring it out and taking opportunistic bites at its fins. Eventually, a large bull moves in to deliver the final blow while flipping the shark onto its back in the process. This induces a state of paralysis known as tonic immobility. The pod then takes turns at eating the seven foot shark down before disappearing back into the ocean. Number five, shark versus sea lion. Nauset Light and Coastal Guard beaches in Cape Cod were closed after a shark attacked a seal just meters from the shoreline. Chris Randall, a senior lifeguard said, one of the other lifeguards gave me the signal for a shark, at which point I scanned back and saw an explosion of water and blood. The blood was the seal getting snatched by the shark. In a battle between a great white shark and a seal, you would expect a shark to come out on top. However, one plucky seal in America seems to have shown a shark who's boss. The seal won the battle, but shortly after the same shark successfully consumed a different seal further offshore. Number four, shark versus dolphin. According to Tap Into, police have confirmed a dolphin was attacked by a shark in Brant Beach. Sean Donahue witnessed the close-up encounter near 106th Street Beach. It is not common for sharks to attack dolphins, especially when they find young calves or sick adults. In fact, one-third of the dolphin population is scarred from shark bites. But dolphins are also known to fend off sharks. They tend to travel in pods, and there's a strength in numbers defense. They also have strong snouts and will chase and ram sharks targeting their soft, more vulnerable underbellies. They will also go for their gills to cause damage. Number three, orcas versus dolphin. Killer whales are the only predators that regularly kill and devour Pacific white-sided dolphins off the BC and Washington coasts. So researchers were surprised when drone footage showed such dolphins playing within a few fin spans of a killer whale's toothy jaws. The dolphins are right in front of the killer whales, right in front of their mouths. This kind of association between one species and its apparent predator is very unusual. It turns out the dolphins have nothing to fear from these particular killer whales, also known as orcas. Southern resident killer whales are nearly physically identical to, very genetically similar to, and officially the same species as dolphin-eating big killer whales that roam the same waters. But it just so happens that southern resident killer whales are strict pescatarians that avoid all red meat, although they eat fish. Somehow, the dolphins can tell the difference, but Barrett Leonard thinks they're still being pretty bold. Number two, crocodile versus shark. Australia has a reputation for its terrifying animals, and this video has only added fuel to the fire. The footage was captured from a charter boat on the popular Prince Regent River in the Kimberley region of Western Australia. A crocodile could be seen gliding along the surface of the water with its mouth open. 
sharks were also circling in the same spot as all the animals vied for their next feed. As the boat crew threw fish scraps out into the water, the saltwater crocodile reached for its meal. But a shark loomed from below the surface and latched onto the catch too. Suddenly, the two deadly predators came face to face, and within an instant, it was clear the crocodile had won. It snapped its giant jaws around the shark and promptly swam away with its distinctly larger fishy meal. Number one, polar bear versus walruses. Who do you think will win in a fight between a polar bear and a walrus? This is an interesting one indeed. There are some videos where polar bears saw a resting walrus and attacked them for meat. Immediately after that, walrus heads towards the sea. Polar bear again bites with sharp teeth, but was not able to make any impact on the thick skin of walrus. Walrus hits back with its four-foot rusks. This time, polar bear escapes from the attack of a walrus. Walrus, being a weak animal on land, escaped towards the water to get rid of polar bear attacks. Once polar bear follows walrus in the water, then comes the best time for walrus to attack the bear. Walrus uses its tusk and injures polar bear. Wounded polar bear tries to move towards land, but walrus keeps attacking constantly without wasting any single moment and sinks its tusks on the back of polar bear and may even kill the bear. Which of these 12 sea animal fights do you think you'd have the guts to watch up close and personal? Which ones would you like to see us talk about in the future? Comment down below. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching Four Wheelers. Hey, are you a four wheeler yet? If not, what in the world? Join the movement. Click the subscribe, ring the bell to get notified, and let the world know that you too are a four wheeler. Stay safe until next time.